Hey, good morning. I'm the Fort Worth Playboy, and this is the Fort Worth Playboy question of the day. And this is our very first broadcast of this show, which is really going to be an, an eight to 10 minute um, Q&A of common questions that I receive um, either through DMs or on YouTube or, um, or on Twitter. I tend to start seeing, and what I've seen over the last five to seven years, is the same questions keep popping up. And we do our very best to answer them like on the podcast um, and also on my regular show, the Fort Worth Playboy Morning Show. But we wanted a new format that could focus in and one, present the question, answer your question and give you a resource to further study or to um, to solve some of these challenges that you may have. Because just like in in every endeavor, you start seeing people have common um, common challenges because the same things will pop up. And the number one question I get, and be it from a young guy who's just starting out to um, guys in her, their early 20s who have had like a bad breakup or they're not seeing the results that they'd like to see, to guys in their 40s and 50s who have who got married early and um, are going through a divorce and getting back into the game. And they're like, where do I begin? And this is a very common question that I hear. They say, basically, um, if you can see it, question of the day, I've never had success with girls or they've had some success and they're back in the game, but I want success with girls. Where do I begin? And there's so many things that you could do as your first step. But what I try to convey to men is to lay down the foundation of success with women. You need to say hi. You need to acknowledge or at least get into a nodding acquaintance of saying hi to every attractive woman that you see. And that comes down to saying hi, stepping into small talk, and you don't have to ask a girl out. You don't have to have the goal of getting her number, but you do need to condition yourself physically and mentally and socially to saying hi to greeting every woman that you find attractive. I used to just say every woman and guys go, I don't, I don't want to talk to girls that I don't. Okay. If you don't find her attractive, ignore her. That's fine. But the more automatic you make this, the better you do this, the more consistently across the board, the faster you'll get good at it, the more conversations you'll have, and the more automatic it will become when a woman who is probably slightly out of your range of attractiveness, which is what most guys really want to to deal with is a beautiful woman, you will be calm, cool, collected, and it will become more automatic. And what I found with a lot of guys is they say, I just had conditioned myself to do this. And then when a really hot girl comes around, you don't really notice it at first. You just are used to saying hi to every woman that you see and it becomes automatic and you're already talking to her. And then you kind of realize, Hey, this girl's better looking than I'm used to. So it's just a small step, but guys always do. It's, it's a social conditioning. And again, I try to convey to guys to don't put a bunch of pressure on yourself at the beginning to like get her number. Don't have a, you know, a plot. Don't, you just need to become better and comfortable with being social and that means more social than you are today and most guys i mean across the board and you the more social media is out there the more you're going to deal with girls simply are passive you have to realize realize that what do girls who who are interested in you going to do they are going to do only one thing assuredly 
they're going to put themselves in your proximity. That's why I say when you go to a party, if you'd like to know who is interested in you, just look and probably five to six feet out, any girl with her back to you is probably interested in you because that's what a girl will do. For some reason, girls think that this is how they hit on a man. They get in a room. It could be five people, 500 people in the room. And she will put herself in that room and then turn her back to you. And to her, that's girl game. That's her giving you a chance to come up and introduce yourself. Because girls are passive. Men are active. Girls are the receiver. Men go out into the world and penetrate and make act and take action into the world. And that's how the whole thing is set up. And that's why it's very rare. The exceptions prove the rule. If a girl, you know, you always have some knucklehead jumps in to the, oh, I had a girl come up and talk to me one time. The exceptions prove the rule that 99.9% .9 of the time, you have to make the first move and you need to be comfortable talking to people, talking to women. And the only way to do that is to become a social animal in a certain sense and just say hi to every girl that comes within your proximity. Some will be there by accident. Some will be there due to their, their having to get into the elevator and go up to the fourth floor. And some will put themselves within your proximity on purpose, hoping, hoping that you'll open a conversation with them. You're not going to get anywhere looking down at your shoes. You're not going to get anywhere looking at your phone. You're not going to get anywhere. In fact, the best thing as a man, and if you're out, you know, being social, is keep your phone in your pocket because there's nothing less charming, less interesting, more nerdy than a dude with his head down looking at his phone like this. And somebody can come by and knock you out anyway. So you always want to be, keep your hands out of your pockets, keep your phone in your pocket, and be aware of your surroundings. That way, in case a hot chick walks by, you can say, hey, how's it going? That way, and you will be surprised at how personal or how open to um, greeting and talking people become over time. They're just not used to it anymore. And when you do go out and you are personable, it opens up a whole new world of opportunity for you. And again, you're getting better at it every day. There's going to be a lot more better looking women out there that you see because you're aware of it and you're looking for it. Again, if you've never had success, you want to improve your success. The number one thing you can do is say hi to every attractive woman that you see on your day. And pretty soon you'll be like, man, there's a lot of women out here. And that's that's what I suggest. And if you're interested in more of this, let's see if I can get this to work. Hang on one second. I'll become very good at this, but it's not going to be today. I suggest um, basic training one and basic training two in our bundles because you got to start somewhere. And basic training one and basic training two can be found at fortworthplayboy.gumroad. Basic training one and two, just like it's spelled. In these two books, are 100 tips, some short, some long, some medium in length on the basics. Because back in the day, the basics of meeting, picking up women, dating, and the game of dating and etiquette um, were passed down either, you know, like for your, from your dad to you or from an uncle that was kind of a player, like your mom would be like mad because he was always bringing a new girl around, that sort of thing. She didn't want your dad getting some strange ideas. So there's always been kind of a hand along, you know, you hang out with a dude that is better with girls than you are. And you learn through absorption, you know, learn through observation and just being his wing naturally. But a lot of that stuff has gone away. There's no passing of knowledge from one player to the next generation of players. So, I started putting together 
basics that you should know or the things that we would pass on to our friends that you should know. And this is the number one thing is, and I think it's the very first um, tip in basic training one and two is to say hi to every girl that comes within your pr proximity. And then it kind of walks you through how to do that and always be comfortable. Um, but that gives you an example. And that's what basic training one and two. And I do, you know, I wrote one and it was 50. And then we did number two, because there's more out there. The basics of game and dating etiquette. And just like with any other skill, you want to lay down a foundation, a solid foundation of basics. That's why when you go to the military, you go through basic training. That's why when you go into the gym, you learn the three basic lifts. There's always going to be a basics of any skill that you learn. And you need to lay down a good foundation that you can build off of. And quite often, even just knowing the basics puts you light years ahead of all the other guys on the game, running game. And, the, and there's so much in here that will help you to avoid fucking up, which is always the number one thing. And a lot of game is what not to do, what not to do. Like, don't text her to death. Don't use a bunch of emojis. Don't show up without a plan. Don't do dinner on a first date. There's all kinds of what to avoid to save yourself lots of time and lots of grief and that horrible learning curve that you don't want to be involved in. So basic training one and two, the basics of game and dating etiquette um, is where I would go. If you're interested in a consultation with me, there's a link below this video that I'll add. It'll be a little bit later today, but you can set up a consultation. We can get into your exact problems and troubleshoot those and get you going in the right direction. Hope you guys liked our new format. Of, and I'll be back in a few minutes with um, with the morning show. But we wanted to start hitting you guys up with the question of the day. If you have any questions, by all means, DM, go to YouTube, put it in the comment box, and we'll get it addressed. I hope you guys have a great day.